In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore from long-term retention to Azure SQL Managed Instance. Here I have a couple databases. Here's our AdventureWorks and then a short-term restore, restore that I did. But let's click under Data Management, the Backups option, and this way we can look at our retention policies. Click the menu up item up top called Retention Policies, then pick the database that you want to configure, and then click Configure Policies. Up at the top, you'll see the short-term retention that you can change from uh, one day to 35 days, but the long-term retention is down here. Now you can pick your weekly, monthly, and yearly. You can pick how long you want to keep it for. You can indicate days, weeks, or months, years. You can keep these up to 10 years. And then also on your annual backup, you can pick which week of the year you want to pick. So that's how you configure the backup policies for your database. Now let's go in there and actually restore from one of these long-term reten retention uh, backups. So we do that by clicking New Database, and we're just going to restore it to the same instance here. Let's call it LTR Restore. Click our data source. Now we can just do a blank database, but of course we want to pick the long-term retention. And then uh, we're going to go back to January 25th. We have a, a long-term retention backup. We're going to go additional settings and right here you can leave that checked if you want to inherit the same backup retention policies as the source database then click review and create azure will do a quick validation and then you just click the create button and then that restore is off and running okay so the restore is still in progress at about 45 50 seconds later um, and this should be done any second here. If you do click away from the screen and you want to get back here and see how your deployment is doing, you could just click the little notifications bell here and you'll be able to get back here. So it's complete. Let's go to the resource. Here's the LTR, Long-Term Retention Restore Database. If we click this here, it's going to bring us back into that managed instance view. And then let's go down to our databases and we should have three databases, our original one, and then we just created this long-term restore.